Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here I sing, coming up, 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 Hello, everybody. How are you? This is the Ramble, and I am Alex Bennett, your humble and obedient host. And I am here as we are uh, each and every uh, the night, uh, four nights a week, uh, doing our little uh, our little show. And over there, stay, sit up straight. Sit up straight. Uh, sit up straight. Earphones that aren't working. What? They're not working. Well, they should be working. Well, they're not. Well, it should be working. Now it is. Now it's working? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi. Yeah, hi. That's, uh, that's, uh, let me see here. That's girlfriend. The one and only. Yeah. The, the one whose brace is coming off. Actually, the brace is off already, but I'm seeing the doctor on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, 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 look. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh look! There, there's her knee. knee. There's her knee. See hmm. the st- scar goes all the way down like this. It's a little it's still swollen. It's a very, very. He did a nice job of, uh, of making that so it isn't that scarred up. Well, what Martin, the PT guys, told me is they have this flexi something tape that you put over the scar, and it it takes the um, what? Yeah. It blends it into your skin. It takes away the, the scar. No, oh, really? Yeah. So is he going to give you some of that tape? I have to buy it in the drugstore. I have to get the name of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, Monday, it's it's all it's off already. It's off. Yeah. Well, you, 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 you're not... He, he, the PT guy said you didn't have to wear it anymore. But yeah. I'm, I'm, aren't, <laughs> aren't you supposed to wait for the doctor to I'm say that? I'm seeing the doctor you? Monday at 11. Yeah. And I'll wear it Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I just think I would listen to the doctor before I listen to the PT guy. Well, he knows what he's doing. Well, he knows what he's doing, but still, you know, I mean, I I want that to heal up completely. So do I. I want to be able to bend my knee. Well, you can bend it. You're doing a very good job. I'm not a hundred percent. Well, look at you. You're bent. It's bent. Yeah, but look not. At look not, at that. Look not, at that. Not like this. Oh, well, yeah, but that's... Uh, yeah. And I had a six-month close on my uh, gym membership. And I reopened it after three months. Yeah, yeah. March 1. Yeah. I, they're going to restart my membership. Oh, okay. I took the thing off. Yeah, so you're oh, you're okay with that. I'm and, okay with that. So you're going back to the gym. Yes. Okay. I'll go well, at lunch every day because it's right... That's good. ...across street from where I work. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, anyway. So, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I could adjust that camera more, but I'm not going to. You're, you're, it's you're Friday. Low. But could you put it's an extra pillow under you? Could you do that? Put an extra pillow under me? Yeah. Here we go. If I fall and break my knee. You're not going to fall and break your knee. There we go. How's no. that? Yeah, well, you're, a little, you're a little higher up now. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. good. Yeah, that you know, you're even with me, see? Ah, can I come yeah. over? Yeah? Huh? Can I come over? <laughs> no, you can't come over. <laughs> anyway. So uh, so it, 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 it's good. Well, it's better than it was three months ago. I mean, three months in a fucking brace. That's a yeah. long time. What's really amazing is how quickly you lose your muscle mass. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have no muscle in my left leg and very little in my right leg because I haven't been doing anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. so I have to build up my legs and my arms and do all that stuff. Okay. Well, anyway... Uh, uh, you know the thing I'm getting sick of you doing though. What? Yeah, I just getting sick of it. Uh, at least once a day, you say to me, or twice a day, uh, he's going to get reelected. You watch. <laughs> That's my fear. No, no. But I mean, it, every time you hear him anywhere or somebody talking about him, you say he's going to get because reelected because he's got this. No, you, you're living in a very dumb country. He's doing a, a, a Hitler thing. He's, yeah. he's picking on people, on groups of people. The yeah. white nationalists, I mean, it's scary how big they're getting. Yeah. They've infiltrated the armed forces. Um, it's very scary in this country right now. And do you care? 
yeah, I do care. I'm still here. <laughs> you know, if I was younger, I would leave the country. Yeah, but we're going to be, you know, uh, if, if with my luck, I'm going to live to be 100. With my luck, 2023, I am out of here. Really? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what. You know what happened? <laughs> let, me, let me explain to you. I like it. To hell with Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> okay, because he found this site that you go to. And you put in a whole bunch of information. It tells you exactly what what day you're going to die. Day and the day yeah, and the year you're going to die. And yours is nine. What Mine is? is January something. I forget the actual date. Well, oh, you should remember because to, it's an important day. Well, I'll figure January two thousand twenty-three. Really. And the way it looks right now, it's not a bad. <laughs> it's not a bad goal. Yeah. So well, that's my goal. I got too many people. Like I mean, Jack in the hospital and uh, the the problems that Ronnie has. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Well, do it in the microphone. Yeah. Bless you. Anyway, 2000... Well, see, if I cut the microphone, they'll still me hear, hear me on yours. 2023 so. is seems better and better as, as the days go on. So if 2023, yeah, you'll be what? You'll be... 90. I'm, I'm out of here. 90? I'm, it doesn't matter what age. I'm just out of here in 2020. Now I got to blow my nose because when I sneeze like that. Well, I don't can... do it in the microphone. Yeah. You know what I hate about our toilet? Can I say something? Can I turn the turn your volume off? Why? Why? Because it sounds horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard it on your yeah, microphone. Yeah, but it's a little further away. Okay. All right. Anyway. Uh, you know what I hate about our toilet? What? It you, flushes? It, it, well, it doesn't flush. I know. Tell me about it. Sometimes if I... How do I put this nicely? It kind of has like a, a back, okay. a back, a back sweep. Occasionally, I'm very, I'm very proud when occasionally I have a nice big fat turd. Okay? Oh, here we go. But those things won't flush down this toilet. <laughs> I have to go in there and chop it up. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. I don't want to hear. That's enough. What's wrong with that's our toilet? Too much information. And, and finally, then I have to go get the plunger. Oh, God. I, I had to do it tonight, the plunger, and plunge like crazy. Uh -huh. And finally, uh, I was fine, you know, but uh, I, I hate our toilet. I hate our water pressure. Oh, especially in the kitchen, which, which is where you need water pressure. Yeah, like I fill up my canister of water for the, uh, uh, what do you call it, coffee, coffee machine, and it takes like a half hour. Well, when I fill up, <laughs> when I fill up the water pot. To, to water the plants, it takes forever. And I and, leave it and come back. And about once a year, our super says, well, we're working on the water pressure. <laughs> and I'm saying, what if somebody was paying seven grand for this apartment? They would want water pressure, you know? You can't just, you know, not give them water pressure. But anyway. It's hot in here. Oh, well, you want me to turn on the fan? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'll turn on the fan. I'll be happy to do that for you. See how nice I am? Yes, you are. By the way, we had about uh, we had a whole bunch of people listening, and they've all dropped off. We're not arguing. I guess when I started talk to, talking about turds. Well, we're not arguing either. What I thought we'd do, I actually have something for us to do. A little lower. Jeez, oh, well, almighty. Too... Well, I mean, make up your mind. The lowest you... one. I don't want the the lowest one doesn't even do it, anything. It gives it a nice breeze. No, it doesn't. Well, it's too high. Like I go in in the morning. I go in to go to sleep, and you've got this thing on high. No, medium, not high. Well, all I know is it's then freezing in there. Perfect. Perfect for you, but I've got to sleep in there too. Well, there's a guest room. You like you have a better oh, you have, oh, a, you have oh, a better television. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. He has a better television in the guest room than than he does in. The, in You're the, telling me. Now, that I've got to go sleep in the other room. I didn't room. say that. I'm saying if it's too cold for you, we do have another bed. Actually, I think that $365 TV set we bought is, is better than the one in the bedroom. Your bedroom? <laughs> no, our The our guest bed, room? Our, be, our bedroom. No, the one in the guest room is the best one. I know. And that should be in our bedroom. Well, that's only a 55 inch here, though. Oh, next one's a 75. Huh? Next one in the bedroom is a 75. No, we're not getting rid of the one in the bedroom because it's 3D. Yeah, but we'll put it in the we'll put it in here. I don't want to sit in here to watch 3D. We'll put it in the guest room then. No, I like the one in the guest room. We'll argue about this one. What's wrong with this with the one you're watching? 
nothing. I and mean, by the way, by the way, you know the reason that picture looks good is because it's 55 inch. If it were 65 inch, it might not look as good. Who knows? Because the picture is stretched out over a bigger area. But the, anyway. the, the $365 TV set we got which looks great. Which has Roku in it. It has a built-in 4K Roku. And doesn't have Wi-Fi in there? Oh, yeah. Has oh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, it has Wi-Fi. They all have Wi-Fi. Oh, they do? Yeah, but the Wi-Fi now is stronger than it used to be because in the old days with the same thing, I couldn't get Wi-Fi when in the living room. When we first moved here, you couldn't get it in the living room. Right. And now the TV sets have a very strong signal and the... The, uh, the, the Wi-Fi I bought that I put in the bedroom to serve the rest of the house is, is pretty strong. So I, it's a 100% signal yeah. on that Roku. And uh, it, it just... It's nice. Six, $365. And what's it, 55 inch? 55, 55 inch, inch. With, a, with, a, with a Roku built into the goddamn <laughs> thing, which would normally cost me about 80 bucks. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. So anyway. And then I took my Mini Mac, uh, the broken one, down to the Apple store, and for $191, they're going to put in a new hard drive. Good. So. Now, is that the Mini Mac that I bought? No, that's the Mini Mac I bought. The oh. Mini Mac you bought is sitting right there. Which one? There's so many. Right of them. there. Right there. Under the. Here? Yeah. Oh. And what's that one? That's the one that Phil sold me, and that's a stronger Mini Mac than the one you bought. Oh. Yeah. It's got more of everything going for it. So. You're just saying that because you put it on my end. Huh? No, oh, it's got 16 uh, gigs oh, of memory. Oh, you put camera up there. When did you do that? Uh, the other day. Oh. So can I go over there? No. <laughs> Gee. No, because I've was i I've been, te I've been trying to figure out how to use the new Skype, which I still can't figure I out. I want to call in one night from the guest room and, and be like a little box up there the way everybody yeah. else Yeah, but anyway... Uh, I still can't figure out how to make a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it, a citizen panel. You'll figure it out. Oh, no, there, I, I can't, it, it, there's no easy way. Uh, I give up, you know. Once once I have to, I can't use this uh, Skype anymore. Forget it, I'm through, I'm going to uh, uh, a, a new one, okay. So. What's that? What? That piece of paper. Well, this is a piece of paper. I thought I would. Have, we would have a discussion on the on the Academy Awards. Um, yes, Oscar prediction time. Now, we vote, okay, now there's we, a difference between who you want to see win and who's going to win. and who's going to. Well, it's win. always like that. Okay, so shall we? Shall we go? Shall in, we start? Shall we go in reverse order? <laughs> uh, cinematography. Uh, Cold War. Which, which is a black and white picture that you haven't seen. I we ha I have a copy of it. Have you seen it? No, I haven't watched it yet. I'm saving it for you. It's supposed to be very good. We'll watch it. It tomorrow. was uh, it, it 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 was nominated for about oh I don't know six BAFTA awards. I mean it was it was very big in the BAFTAs. Uh, the favorite. Uh, I didn't like the photography. It I was didn't always either. two wide lens thing. Yeah. Never look away, Caleb Deschanel. You know, it's uh, Zoe Deschanel's father. Really? Yeah. Uh, Roma, Alfonso Caron, and A Star Is Born, Matthew. Roma La was La good. La Roma, Roma was very good. R R Roma, I think, had the best cinematography. Yeah, I agree. And he also that. won the BAFTA for the best Did cinematography. He? I agree with you yeah. on that. Uh, best original screenplay. The favorite? No, it no. wasn't a good screenplay. First Reformed, Paul Schrader. I don't even know what that movie was. What was it called? First Reformed. Green Book. Okay. Good. Uh, Roma, Alfonso Caron, and Vice, Adam McKay. I, it, I would, it would be a toss for me between uh, Roma and Green, Green Book. Green Book. I would go yeah. for Green Book. Well, personally, you would go for yeah. Green Book. Um, I don't know whether it was a good screenplay because Roma was all... In Mexican, but anyway, mm -hmm. best adapted screenplay. You know, Netflix even has something in this category. Do they really? Yes, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. The oh, we Joel, saw that. The Joel Cohn. That was good. Ethan Cohn. Film. That was very good. Yeah. Black Klansman. Eh. Can you ever forgive me? Definitely, very good. Yeah. If Beale Street could talk, which we, we haven't, haven't seen yet, so we don't know. And A Star is Born. I don't think A Star is Born was that great. I don't either. It was okay, but yeah. it wasn't great. No, no. Okay. Then we get to Animated Short. Well, we didn't, haven't seen. We don't know what these are. So, 
It's a good the next. We'll move one. on to something else. <laughs> uh, animated feature: Incredibles Two, Brad Bird, uh, Mirai, Ralph breaks the internet, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, and our favorite Isle of Dogs. Oh, I love Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. I, Isle, of, Isle dogs, of Dogs. Which, if I you say it fast, is I, I love, love Dogs. dogs. <laughs> it was great. Just terrific. Uh, however, I will tell you now that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is going to win. Uh. Yeah, well, no, it's supposed to be very good. We haven't seen it, but it's supposed to, oddly enough, it's supposed to be very good. Well, this was, Isle of Dogs was excellent. Was like, Isle of Dogs was, was terrific. I love that film. Me too. Uh, best director. Here we go. Spike Lee, Black Klansman. Eh. eh. Uh, Powell Paulikowski. Cold War. Which we See? haven't seen. Cold yeah. War again. Uh, Yurgos Lanthimos, the favorite. Yeah. I thought that was terrible direction. Adam McKay, Vice, forget yeah. it. Alfonso Caron, Roma. That's it? Yeah. So I, Roma's going to get I, it. I'm, I'm, well, I'm saying that Alfonso Caron should get it for Roma. And I think he will. Yeah. I think he'll get Out it. of that list, yeah. Definitely. Uh, supporting actress, Amy Adams for Vice. Uh, Marina de Tavira, she played the wife in that picture. In what, Roma? In Roma. Uh, Regina King, if Beale Street could talk, she's the favorite to win. Yeah, we haven't seen that. Yeah. Emma Stone, the favorite, and Rachel Weisz, the, the favorite. favorite. They're going to split the vote there. Uh, so. Um, uh, Regina uh, King. Uh, Regina King's going to win yeah. that one. Uh, now, Best Supporting Actor, Marsha, Mar 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 Hershela Ali, Green Book. Excellent. Uh, he, you know, won for supporting actor two years ago. And didn't he win the BAFTA? And he won the BAFTA this year. This year. Yeah. Uh, and, and why he went up for supporting actor again this year, I have no idea, except he probably figured he had a better chance of winning that than winning best actor. Or why split it with his co co-worker? Yeah, but that happens like, you know, for Best Supporting Actors and the Favorite, we have Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz. Yeah. I'll tell you something. He's playing in, what's the what's it called, the one that we the, watch? Uh, um, True Detective. True Detective, where they go back and forth in maybe yeah. th three or four decades. And the aging and the just the, the body yeah. movements. It's yeah, he, just, he's terrific. It's just he's incredible. just terrific. Yeah. Anyway, I think he's going to win for Green Book. Uh, and he would be my choice. Adam Driver, a black Klansman. Sam Elliott for A Star is Born. A lot of people say he was really good in that. And, you know, we all like Sam. And he's never won an award. Right. Richard E. Grant, Can You Ever Forgive he Me? He was good. And Sam Rockwell, Vice. I think it's Mahershala Ali's yeah, time. Uh, award to lose. Uh, lead actress. Okay, first of all, Yelitsa Arparchio. Uh, Arpar Arpariccio. It's Roma. Roma. Uh, she was terrific, by the way. She was really, really terrific. And I think it's her first film. Uh, Glenn Close, The Wife. I only saw half of it. I have to see the rest of it. Olivia Coleman, The Favorite. Um, which we love. Yeah. We love her. Lady Gaga, A Star is Born. No. No. And then the one that we like and we think did the best of all of these, and that was Melissa McCarthy and Can You Ever Forgive Me? And I'm not a Melissa McCarthy fan, but this one just was over yeah. the top. She was phenomenal. She was terrific. Terrific. Just terrific. Uh, and then, uh, I, you know, I, uh, Olivia Coleman would be my second favorite in this. You know, the funny thing about the film The Favorite was three great acting performances in what was a mediocre script and a badly directed picture, in my opinion. Yeah. And yet they somehow rose above it. Right. You know. Yeah. But uh, uh, Olivia Coleman won for Best Actress in the BAFTAs, and she also won uh, at the Golden Globes for Best Actress. That's right. Yeah. And the reason is, is she's that, the favorite. Well, the uh, Europeans love her. Yeah. I mean, she as a British actress, you may not have heard of her. A lot of you people out she's there. She's in a lot of stuff. But she is like one of. England's most beloved actors, okay? Lead actor, Christian Bale, terrible. Uh, Bradley Cooper, Star is Born. No. Eh. Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate. I didn't even see that. Mm -mm. Did you even hear about that movie? Mm -mm. Uh, Viggo Mortensen, Green Book. Excellent. Well, he would be my choice, 
But Rami, Rami Malik for Bohemian Rhapsody probably is probably going to win. And here's, yeah. this, I, I was telling Snyder this and yelling about this. I am sick and tired of actors winning Academy Awards for doing impressions. Well, a lot of them do that. No, but it's not acting. Of course it's acting. Well, it's not acting. It's doing an impression. You know, it's, 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 uh, and everybody goes, oh, he did such a great job of playing so-and-so. And, uh, you know, I mean, we got the same problem with uh, Christian Bale in Vice uh, playing Dick Cheney. I mean, uh, what's with all these people doing impressions? You know why they do them? Because they know they'll get nominated for doing an impression. But they should have like a category, best impression, okay? <laughs> and then I'd, I'd say, okay, that's all, all. But, you know, there was a period of a few years back where about four or five years in a row, best actor, best actress, and in some cases, best supporting actor or best supporting actress were all for people doing impressions of somebody. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, I wish I could go back. I'd, I'd find it. And, You'll find it. And, and, but it was like like four years in a row, five years in a row, and you're going, look, well, who won last year? What's his name? Gary Oldman for doing being oh, Winston right. Churchill. Churchill. Okay? That's how you win an Academy Award. Anyway, our... Uh, the, uh, it's not a great field there, but Viggo Mortensen certainly is the best out of the bunch, but it won't go to him. It will go to Remy Malik for that horrible tribute band movie. Yeah. I lo and I love, I love Queen, but, but the movie, it, it's, he's walking down the street and all of a sudden he's a singer. Okay, here, here we starts. go. Here's the best, best picture. Go ahead. And, and in, this in, this case, this. in this case, we don't have, you know, we have a whole longer list. Oh, it's 10, isn't well, it? Well, it's up to 10. Uh, this year, it's uh, it's 8. Okay? Black Panther. Mm. Eh. Black Klansman. Eh. Eh. Bohemian Rhapsody. Eh. Eh. The Favorite. Eh. Eh. Green Book. Possible. Uh, yeah, good. Roma. You like it, possible? Well, you didn't like Roma. I, I did. I wasn't. I thought it was good, not great. I thought it was terrific. Yeah. I thought it 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 uh, uh, it was a very brave film to make, and it was also a good example of where Netflix fits into the uh, into the into the stratosphere now. In that they will back movies nobody would have backed five, ten well, years ago. Well, what was ago. interesting about the article in the Times is that they're backing movies all over the world. Yeah. So it's not just American made. But small films. Yes. You know, not yeah. in other words, Alfonso Caron probably if he wanted to make Roma and tried to shop it out to all the major film companies he would have a hard time getting the money for it because they'd say where's the money in it. In this case, Roma was shown on Netflix. It was also shown in theaters so it could be nominated for an Academy Award, but it was basically on Netflix and it maybe was seen by 40, 50 million people, which is more than would ever see a movie in a theater. Exactly, and that's e the e new way. Even the biggest box office picture but doesn't get to 50 million people. But that's the new wave. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, good for Netflix. I'm happy for them. They, you know, uh, they allowed a movie like this to be made. Um, then the Stars Born and Vice. Nah, okay? nah. We have seen most of these because most of these, in one way or another, got to us through uh, SAG. SAG. And uh, we were just amazed at how bad the pictures were. This year, terrible. They, they were terrible. I mean, what was the one? Mary Poppins was up oh, for Oh, Mary Bobby? Poppins was terrible. Where did they even come to put something like that up for best picture? Well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, well, it, it, Mary Poppins didn't show up here. Thank God. Which is interesting. Uh, but uh, um, uh, and there are a few people that were left off. I think uh, what's her name? Um, who played Mary Poppins? What's her name? Uh, no, she, she well, her husband right. directed that film she was in About where the quiet, where you had to be quiet. Or... I thought that was a very good film. I never saw it. You? What do you mean you never saw it? <laughs> you watched it with me here. I must have fallen asleep. Remember, she's in the bathtub trying to give birth to the baby, and she can't. She can't scream at all. I don't remember. 
But yes, you you should. I, you liked it. You told me how much you liked it. You said that was really a good movie. I said that. Yes. Oh my God! I have to see the neurologist. I say not the neurologist. <laughs> no, it's the neurologist. No. It's ten twenty nine. Pretty yes. soon. Yes. Pretty, yes. Pretty, yes. Wait, wait, wait. yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 What, are you, what are you coming it's over for? Ten twenty nine. I'm sorry. We talked too long. What? What? We can't talk too long? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me get the, the panel up here. And uh, let me turn on the uh, Skype so people can call. Okay. But um, uh, I, I have a feeling it's going to be a, a very uh, uh, boring, boring uh, Oscars Record this year. Record it because I'm going to go, I go to bed early. Huh? Record it. So I'll watch it. I'll skip through it the next day. You'll thing. skip through it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll try and record it. If I don't, you can read about it in the newspaper. No, the I'll next record day. it then. What are you moving the mic in your direction? I'm putting for? it in the middle. No, you're not. Yes, not your, no, you're not. That's the middle. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I'm going to do this because Skype always asks me if I want to upgrade, and I tell them no. no. No, I don't want to. Fuck you. It says it's going to be discontinued soon. Yeah, right. Well, uh, it's supposedly this version has snuck under the wire. Uh, and uh, Until. Yeah. It looks like Phil Meyer is going to be calling here because, you see, he's online. Where do you he see just got online. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah, where it yeah. says Phil Meyer. So yeah. I can see who's, who's he's in about the pro to come. process of calling. Uh, and if you want to call us, just go over to uh, Gabnet.net. Gabnet and yeah, on the right-hand side of the page will tell you all the ways you can call and be part of the citizen panel. I need a haircut. Huh? I need a haircut. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Using using Gabnet as a mirror? Well, there's a mirror here. So. Oh, there is a mirror over there. <laughs> we have, yeah. So anyway, we're waiting for people to call. Uh, I hope that we don't have any problems having people call. It's past my bedtime. Yeah, it's past your bedtime. Oh, ah, here we go. Here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. Hey, man. There we go. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Well, hey, ah, Mark, there's uh, Rob. You, you're looking much better. The, uh, the, the brace is off. Yeah. Well, it's kind of off. It's not supposed to be off, but it is off. But it's off. You know. Oh, Rob, that's my kind of thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday. Cheers. Happy Cheers. Friday is right. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what's the wine? It's not wine. It is a scotch. Ooh. Really? Yeah. It's a... It's a a single malt, fifteen-year-old Scotch. Oh, really? Couldn't get anything newer. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like that old stuff. It comes at a, it's cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Aged properly. Mm. Yeah. Well, R. Kelly was uh, into some of that fifteen-year-old stuff. Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the illegal stuff. Yeah. Well, we have to assume his innocence. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, it was Trump's fault. He let those women across the border uh, and they human trafficked them. And uh, between R. Kelly and the and the guy from the Patriots. Uh, wait, know, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was no there was no human trafficking going on with R. Kelly. Why not? No, no, no. There wasn't. Blame Trump. But you're talking about this thing in Florida with the uh, Hi, Charlie. with Kraft, the head of the, the Patriots. Yeah, who got, I'll, you know, uh, fake news. I'll blame R. Kelly and Donald Trump and uh, George Washington. Yeah, wait a minute. I got yeah. I, you know what I didn't do? I didn't. There we go. Now we, now you can see our citizen panel, folks. Oh yes. See, I fucked up. I get. Nah, no, we fucked up. They'd rather see you and you Martin. trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I tr I, we trusted you, Alex, and you let us down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was uh, Trump's fault. Yeah, of course. I, I don't know why. All my all my sound seems to be rather low lately. Uh, yeah, you know, I uh, listened to the show uh, a bit last night when you said that my audio was low. Yeah, everybody's audio was low. I think the input that you're getting from Skype is uh, you got to raise it up. I, I, right. I can't. Uh, that, that, uh, really? No, you can't raise it up. I'm. I'll look. Wait a minute. Is it coming in on a separate? Uh, Input? Yeah, no, it's it's uh, no, but uh, uh, everybody was not low, low last night. I, yeah, I, well, they were much lower than you. Well, they always uh, are. Uh, everybody else sounded okay to me before you turned your volume up. 
Yeah. Sounded fine to me when I listened to it this morning. Let's see here. Here, Here's the audio, audio, settings. audio settings and the speaker volume. No, my microphone. My Just microphone sign. is okay, you know. Yeah. Uh, my microphone. No, your is, microphone's fine. Yeah, so that's all. It was. Been. It was the rest of the. Oh, wait a minute. Here lower, we go. Sounds uh, no. considerably lower than you. Video settings. No. no. So you know you don't have a, a balance uh, between. My, there's there's the no. Skype there's no way I can turn up the audio settings. Close it. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to do something. I want to see Jeff. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're. I think we're fine. You know. Yeah. I, okay. Good. I, I, I'll turn myself down a little bit. How's that? That's that sounds good. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's just the balance. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? I listened to it last night. It was fine. You were just a little on the low side. Uh, okay. I thought everybody was. See, this is what happens. He starts talking about all the technical stuff. Well, that's it, why I'm going to say good night to everybody. Yeah. Okay, good night. <laughs> good night. Good night, guys. Hey, good night. Nice, nice seeing you. Nice weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, congratulations you, when you, on your knee brace. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alex, the doctor talk, doesn't uh, know it yet. <laughs> hmm? Oh. When, when you spend a half hour talking about the technical stuff, it's okay. If I mention something, it, it's no, no. But you, but no, you always, no it's good. always like your sound is low, and this is high, and this is that, and I, I you know, I'm sorry. Well, but what else am I listening for? Well, I'm listening here, and I don't, uh, I don't hear it. You know, so what obviously, the hell? yeah. Otherwise, you would have fixed it before last night. It's always low. This new board of mine is not. It does not uh, have a loud <laughs> output. You know. Huh. In fact, after the show, I usually go and boost the audio on the on the recording. I uh, see. Yeah, but uh, but uh, it was oh, it was fine last night, you know. So I'm not I'm not complaining. Everybody, I mean, are you hearing it all right? Everyone, is it okay? Yeah. You know, is it fine? Yeah, you know. yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's okie dokie. Yeah. All so, right. And, 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 and I and I look night. up here to see if it's going out well on the uh, on the audio to the uh, server. And the audio is fine there, and the audio is uh, terrific. In fact, I could turn it up just a little bit here. I could turn it up just a little bit on the audio on the, uh, uh, there we go, on the um, uh, video. Okay, so now everything's right. higher. All right. So you can be happy. Yeah, now I'm happy. Make you See, happy. I have, a, I have a, an app that I want to recommend yeah. I'm a weather guy, and I, I always list, I always have a weather app on the phone, and it this one makes me giggle all the time. Uh, it's called WT Forecast. WT Forecast. Yeah, and the reason is it's an it's an irreverent uh, <laughs> news app. Like every time you go, like right now it's 34 degrees and clear outside, but maybe you can see if I put the camera there what it says. Uh, as a, there's a different. Uh, do you remember that one time when you were fucking warm? Well, this is not that time. And every That's time you funny. press, every time you, you check the weather and you go, it's a different saying about here's the next one. Uh, this is footy pajama weather. Mine have little pink bunnies on them. What What is the name of that? Uh, of that, uh, that, that one w, was Tony's. WT Forecast. WT and uh, it, it has all the regular stuff that you would get from a from a weather app, but every time you open it, depend if it's sunny or if it's raining, it has some irreverent uh, weather forecast, which cracks me up all the time. So I just thought I'd mention it. I just found this app. Let's see here. I, I'd like something like that for my uh, GPS in the car. Uh, you know, that says something like, "Hey, you moron, you missed the turn." You could do that. <laughs> really? How? You, uh, well. For example, my wife gets all bent out of shape because when I, you know, you ever hear of Waze? Yeah. So with Waze, yeah. you can record your own directions. And so my voice is the actual um, voice on mine. And you can make it say anything you want. So if you want to say, hey, dipshit, you just, you know, okay. you yeah. know, you can do whatever you want to say. So I'll, in relation I'll open to it an actual and driving allow, turn. Or yeah, something. absolutely. Allow the absolutely. forecast to go for you. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, update the profanity settings. Okay. Yeah, you want to turn it on to the nastiest settings. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Update I think it's the what the fuck forecast, WTF. Really? <laughs> it cracks me up. 
but it, it won't it won't do it I can't uh, I, what do I you mean well I can't get it to uh, okay. nasty up uh, okay okay I see I gotta get through all this shit here close <laughs> there we go now I go here profanity uh, on okay voice settings off color settings okay all right extend loading fra- loading phrases what is that it's loading the the phrases like the one I just called up now. Okay. Do you remember that? Do you remember that one time when it was fucking warm? It's not that time. <laughs> okay, so I, I now it's chilly outside. Be thankful for indoor plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. No, well, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm happy for that. Okay, all right. Thank you. For, uh, that's very nice of you to have turned me on to that. Yeah, it's perfect app because especially if it's raining, you can still get a chuckle. Yeah. Is that what you IT guys do all day? <laughs> now, how, how does somebody make money out of that? Well, this has got ads in it. Oh, right? it has you ads could, in you, it. You can actually yeah, cross the bottom if you want to pay for it, whatever the the in app price is, which I haven't even looked at. Um, you know, you could get it without the ads, but most of these weather apps have ads. Okay, well, yeah. WT Forecast, folks, is the name of it, so that you can know what that is. Yeah, it's fun. Get a little chuckle out of the weather. Well, I want to know what the weather is. I open the door uh, or the window. I look. And uh, if I want to know what the temperature is, I stick my hand no, outside. You know, maybe, maybe it's that easy for you, but I'll tell you, girlfriend has to know what the weather's going to be tomorrow morning because she's going to be leaving early in the morning. <laughs> And so she has to know what to wear, so she puts her clothes out the night before. And so she has to know what the weather's going to be. And most mm-hmm. people do, Phil. It's just you that yeah. doesn't give a shit. No, I don't give a shit. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's raining, uh, I suck it up, you know. If it's cold, I put on a coat. I wa- you know, I, I, I want to know if it's raining. If my bones are aching, I want to know if it's raining. Because my bones usually, you know, I always used to hear this about old people. They, they could yep. tell the weather by their bones. And I went, mm. oh, come on. You know, that's a piece of shit, right? You know, I'm a young kid, right? Doesn't affect me. Hey, it rains. Hey, whoop de doo I feel great. Now I know, I go, I go to a girlfriend, it's supposed to rain tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why my bones are aching. Yeah, that's why my knee hurts. <laughs> yeah, that's why my knee hurts. <laughs> well, talking about hurt. Uh, my, I got hurt for 800 bucks day before yesterday because my neck hurts and I, uh, have been going to the Rolfer and he's been doing a good job on it, but he says, you got TMJ. And, uh, so, uh, he did that's a couple a, that's of That's that show on TV with all the gossip, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's a Z or a J. Yeah. Uh, and so I went to the dentist and he made me a mouth guard. I'm, I'm not going to get it till I get back from my trip. Oh, that's bullshit. But, uh, that's bullshit. You know what yeah. sucks about those is just that they, they're not com- – you're going to be have that in your mouth, your CPAP machine around. You're going to be sleeping like a freaking astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. Well, no, but the thing is, <laughs> the thing is my, da- my dentist tried to form. convince me that maybe I, I had uh, TMJ or that I had – I was grinding my teeth or whatever. Right. I, I, need a, I need a bite plate. My wife uh, has one yeah. of those. Yeah. How much is the bite teeth plate? Teeth. Six hundred, yeah. seven hundred dollars. Uh, does my yeah. does the insurance take care of the bite plate? No, no. no. You well, know, I think mine was. And I went. Then fuck it. I'll grind my teeth down to powder if need be, well, and then I'll well, snort well, the powder. Was, what? Uh, I I I'm doing something to one of my teeth, and he said, "Hey, I may have to extract this and put in an implant." And so when I discovered that this TMJ stuff. Uh, I said, okay, I'll do that. I'd rather do that than a six thousand dollars. That's the implant. new thing they're selling too, are implants. Yeah. You know, like, well, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to do a root canal on there, but uh, we should just do an implant. <laughs> you know, and go, oh mm-hmm. yeah, really? Five thousand dollars for the fucking implant? The root canal is only fifteen hundred. Do the fucking root canal. This tooth I had a root maybe- canal. You, you, he'll put you out, and you wake up with breast implants. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want those ass implants like Kardashian. Got a root canal and a pair of breasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I'm know. tired of my pants falling. No, down. I love the way I love implants. the way today. Everywhere you go, they try to upsell you. Yeah. 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 By yeah. the way, I had last night. I had actually a decent, pleasant relationship 
with a company, a tech company I had to call in order to get something done. And it was uh, Network Associates or whatever the company is that gives out the, uh, you know, that you pay uh, for the uh, web. ICANN? Uh, well, you pay, it's ICANN is, is, was one of the companies, but Network Solutions, I think, is, is another one. And uh, it was time for me to redo my, my, uh, up, uh, my yearly thing for Radio Free Jack. And um, I tried to change my address because the address on my card had changed. And I couldn't get it to work. So I, okay, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll call, I'll call Network Solutions. And I call oh. them. It was the most pleasant experience I've had with any of these phone people. I mean, helpful. I didn't, didn't put me out to a second guy. He said, hey, do you want one or two years? I suggest two years because it's cheaper than just the one year twice, you know. And I upsell. said, okay, do that, you know, do that. And, and he wasn't trying to upsell me anything particularly. And he got the thing done, and we got the, the, the information changed on, the, uh, on there. And he was terrific. It was just one of the, after going through that experience with GoDaddy, I, I got to read you something. I got to read you something. This is, this is amazing. Oh, wait a minute. I may have lost that. I hope I didn't lose it. Uh, so I, I, here, here, here's the stupidest thing. Yeah, there it is. Here's the stupidest thing that I've ever had happen with tech support. I, I have Seagate, uh, a thing called Seagate Dashboard, which when I, when I, when I load it in, it finds all the hard drives and all the network drives, and then it loads them all onto my desktop, okay? Good little program, right? But if I leave it on here, if I leave it especially on my other computer, after about five hours, it's eaten up 15 gigs of internal memory. Oh. And so I wrote him a letter and said, you know, this is unacceptable. It shouldn't be eating up that kind of memory. It's a complete memory hog. It just eats it up like crazy. And you can turn it off once you've loaded everything in. But nevertheless, if you leave it on, it's going to slowly eat away and eat away and eat away at your, at your memory. So I wrote him a note to that effect. Here's what I get back. Now, that, that what I wrote was very simple. It was a... Uh, uh, let me see here if I if I have the original note that I wrote. Uh, uh, um, no, I guess that's that's it. Uh, that, I don't have the original letter that I wrote them. But anyway, I get this letter back from them, and listen what he writes back. Now I'm asking, I'm saying that all I'm trying to say is there's something wrong with your Seagate dashboard. It eats up memory. Why don't you do something about it? Just a suggestion. Here's what I get back. Dear Alex Bennett, thank you for contacting Seagate Support. My name is Gabriel, and my goal is to make you a very satisfied customer today by finding a solution for you. I understand your Seagate dashboard is not working in conditions. All right. You know, you're, you're not talking to a person. No, it's got to be a no, a, no, a, no. A oh, no, I'm talking a, to a person. He's just not really. In, he's just not in this country. OK. Uh, yeah. OK. Uh, 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 before anything, please provide us with your serial number. Also, I would like to recommend the Time Machine software because I can realize that you are using High Sierra and that backup software also works better. What mm. does that have to do with the Seagate thing? <laughs> and then he gives me all the instructions on how to use the backup the, uh, through system preferences in the Time Machine. And, so when you and, said that this is not, uh, were you, was this a chat or just a back and forth no, letter? This was a letter I wrote them just to say, hey, your program is eating up a lot of memory. You should look into this. And instead, he writes me back and says, you should use Time Machine to go get, and I'm, what, what the fuck are you writing me about? You didn't even read the letter, you know, or understand what I was writing. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I mean, I've gotten answers back where they've been inadequate answers, but not answers to questions I never asked. You know, so that so after that last night to have this uh, what essentially was a very nice experience with Network Solutions was uh, was a was a, a, a very nice uh, moment in my life. So anyway, hello Kevin, how you doing? 
Hi, Alex. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, Friday. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You could very well have been talking to a bot. Yeah, I think he was. Well, no, I wrote a letter. I wrote an yeah. email. And you were answered by a computer or a bot. Oh, you wrote a, a physical letter? I wrote a the... physical letter to Seagate. I just wanted to let them know that their program was eating up a lot of memory. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. You know, and that there's something wrong in the program that sucks out memory out of a computer uh, when it's sitting there <clears throat> open. As soon as I close yeah. it, I will gain 15 gigabytes of memory. And so I just I, wanted I don't know them if to they turn those over to bots because no a lot you know there there is there are companies now that are they're seeking out those I got a friend that works for a company that creates bots for companies yeah and basically eliminate departments in companies yeah but in this particular case this wasn't a bot because uh, uh, it was answer it, even if it were a bot it wasn't answering the question that I asked or wasn't replying well, yeah, to, the, to the to the point of my still, letter. Yeah, they're yeah. still being developed, and they get you get goofy answers like that because they they feed that letter into a into a system, and then the system starts to answer that. Or question. some sort of oh, AI. Oh, thing. hey, look how yeah. good we look tonight. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's on uh, 120 inch screen. <laughs> oh, that, oh, really? Cool. Oh, oh and, I'm and, just in a little circle. And, and you're, yeah, but that's and that, kind of scary. And that's the Skype. That's the, a, the, you know, you can leave uh, me in a, a forty circle. by forty on a forty by forty square. That's the Skype yeah. feed because when I do this, it's almost time. Yep, that's yeah. that's yeah. that's actually uh, I'm using <laughs> Apple. Uh, what do you call it? Air Air. What do they call it? Uh, Airport oh, to the Apple Play oh, or the, the Apple it. thing. You're Apple mirroring. Yeah, oh, that's the actually mirroring my desktop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's very nice that you have I a... I get a hell of a delay when I do that with mine. Really? Yeah, and then it'll cut out. I don't know if it's maybe my connection or whatever. I have to lay yeah. my phone right on top of the damn yeah. unit. It might be because it's in a cabinet. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, I w as I say, it was very pleasant last night to talk to this network solutions. And after having gone through the thing earlier in the day with GoDaddy, which was also a pain in the ass, like I told you, having to go from one person to another person to another person to just get the first person to solve my problem for me and fill out the stuff and make sure that I was all and that I went away a happy camper, you know, uh, yeah. it was very nice. Very nice. It makes, a, it makes you feel refreshed when that happens, you know? Well, you know, in this day and age, we really have so, we have bad service. Uh, yeah, we just, I was it, on with AT&T yesterday, too, and I was calling them up with a, you know, ready to tear people's heads off, and then they'd pass you on, and I finally got to a supervisor, and, oh, they were all nice, and da-da-da-da-da-da, and I just wanted to tear her head off, and by the time she was done, I, I got what I wanted, and... She was nice, and I said thanks for your patience, and I hung up. And you ever had a deal with <laughs> with Verizon, uh, Rob, with uh, with uh, uh, FiOS? You know, I had the best experience with FiOS really? I have ever had. The, just two days ago, really. So I I put in this Orbi, right? I have that Orbi mesh, Netgear Orbi mesh, yeah, house mesh How do you like Wi-Fi? I love it now. I hated it for like three days because mm -hmm. uh -huh. I had a lot of trouble setting it up and I was on the phone with support lots and lots of hours to finally get it right. But now I absolutely love it. And what wound up happening was because I've got – I had the, the Fios router mm -hmm. and I had the Orbi, two separate networks. And I think I mentioned this the other night. I couldn't get a printer – I couldn't get my my work machine to connect to my printer because my printer was on the Orbi, but my laptop is hardwired into the FiOS router. So when I was trying to connect the printer up, I'm going, what the hell's going on here? I finally realized what happened. And so I called Orbi or Netgear, and they said, you should call Verizon for this. So I got on the phone with Verizon. I got this really wonderful woman on the phone, and she said, I need to reach out to our – networking team or whatever and the three of us are going to do a con call she was on the phone on one end the guy that they put me on the phone with to do, who knew how to set up the router and do whatever in the end I was on the phone with them for about an hour we tried mm -hmm. like nine different things because I could we couldn't get it to work mm -hmm. finally they said you know what we can do we can use your Orbi router and we can just turn off the Fios router we don't need it and that's what wound up happening I'm going to sell my 
Fios router because I don't need it anymore. They set up the Orbi for me to be the the only router I need. Mm -hmm. Everything is on one network right now. They the woman on the phone, she was the one who was rebooting the ONT and all that. They, you know, all right, reboot the ONT. We're trying this, and they were coordinating. When I tell you, I had the greatest experience with. It took me no time to get them on the phone, and. When I had them on the phone, they couldn't have been more helpful in doing this. I and mean, you didn't just, even I was blown away. And you didn't you wait, get, wait, wait a minute. You didn't even buy the Orbi from them. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And when you get two companies together like that working together, it makes it so much nicer. It was fantastic. Wow. 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 And that was just three. It'll two, actually, two it'll actually get you to fill out their survey they send you mm -hmm. after you're done. <laughs> there were I'll tell you. I'll said, tell you what I there did were two is. Times yeah. <laughs> there are two times I fill out surveys. One when I'm fucking mad, and two when I'm extremely yeah, satisfied. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. I did it last exactly. night with Network Solutions. I stuck around and gave them all fours. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You just. How come you didn't give them fives? Because he, you couldn't give him fives. Give him fives. Yeah. Hey, uh, Rob, did you sell that QNAP thing or? Uh, no. No. Really? We'll have it. I think I'm going to try to set it up over here in the corner uh, in my theater mm -hmm. um, and see if that works. I, nobody, I, I, a guy uh, contacted me last week and he said, what's your best price? And I lowered it a little bit more. I got it down to like 375 but I'm not going any lower. Yeah. And he said, well, you know, let me think about it. I said, look, dude, that's that's bottom, you know, I, I, if, yeah. I'm about ready. To, if I can deploy it. Yeah. And I, and I, you know, it's not noisy or whatever, then I'll just keep hey, it. Hey, if it's noisy, you know, you can put it anywhere on your net, in, in any room, as long as you're hooked right. up to the network. Well, that's the problem. There, I don't have a room. The only places I really have, a, 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 like here, I, I have a network switch. Mm -hmm. I could try it here, but if it's going to really be loud, I don't want it in this room, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. Um, in my office is another place where I have the router, right? I right. plugged it in there mm -hmm. too much. There's no other real place where yeah. I have. It's funny because my QNAP is quiet. Very quiet. See, and I, I remember you told me that, and that's I was working I mean, with QNAP to um, get a replacement. I was actually willing to put lay out more money. Do you know when it got loud, when it got somewhat louder, I could hear it, was when I got rid of my cheese grater Mac here and put in the Mac Pro. And uh, the Mac Pro, you have to put your ear into the Mac Pro in order to hear the fan. Right. Otherwise, right. it's dead silent. So I started hearing every sound that was in this room. Mm. If there was a hard drive over here that was clicking or whatever, you know, all of a sudden sounds I had never heard before I was hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I heard you say to Marjorie that you had another mini Mac Mini with a bad hard drive. I had a Mac Mini. I, yeah, I had a, my my original Mac Mini, the one that I first used for the server here, yeah. went bad. The hard drive went bad in it after, oh, okay. th after three years or something like that. No, yeah. yours I fixed for four hundred bucks because it blew when I plugged it into the wall. So yeah, mm. but since it was it was a, supposed to it was supposed to blow up long before that. Yeah, you since know, it was when you were holding since, it. Since it was a, <laughs> since it was an expensive machine, I figured it was worth the four hundred bucks. And this it's yeah. worth two hundred to me to take what essentially is almost a nine hundred dollar mini Mac and get it going again. So yeah. I, uh, that, uh, and it, I'm not even gonna use it. It's gonna be a spare in case one of the others peters out, you know, so, yeah. so whatever. Anyway, enough tech talk, folks. We don't need to have tech talk, do we? Now, sure. who gives a shit about this crap, you know? Because yeah. it, if, if you wait, if you live long enough, technology will disappoint you, okay? So. Oh, you don't even, it could happen. Shit. Uh, you, no, I. Uh, you know, who was it? Who was it? I was talking to. Um, uh, uh, well, Damien's been having problems because he's still trying to get his computer up and running again, so he can start doing his show. And um, I, I wrote him, and I just said, you know, uh, I have nothing but technology problems every fucking day, because I've got so much technology here that something is off kilter somewhere. Hell, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this thirty-three hundred dollar eBay used uh, Mac Pro to blow on me. You know. Yeah, I, I think though they're they're a different level of machine, uh, the Mac Pro. I think I, it. I, don't I, th I can. I think it'll last for a long, long time. Oh yeah. You know. You know, because remember how much they were when they were new. Yours was what about ten grand? My, no, grand? mine. My, mine. 
well, if I bought it today with all that yeah. it has in it, it would be seven grand. Yeah. A little more than seven grand. Yeah. Uh, because it's a 12 core. It's 12 yeah. core. And it's, Mine yeah. would have been four, I think, or yeah. 4,200. Yeah. And it, it's a good little machine. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm amazed. It's small. It's tiny. It looks like a garbage can. Yeah. You know, um, it's quiet. In fact, they call it the trash can. I, I call mine Alex's trash can on my network. Yeah, and, and, looks... by, and, and by the way, the old one, you remember the old Macs, the old Mac Pros? Yeah. Uh, they call those the cheese graters because they, <laughs> they look like machines, cheese though. graters. Huh? Those were nice looking machines. Oh, yeah, they were. But they were huge and heavy. This thing. Oh, they weigh a ton. Yeah. This thing, I pick up uh, around the edge and just pick it up with one hand and move it somewhere, you know. And if you want yeah. to get inside, there's just a little thing you flip and the and the top of the can comes off. So, it's it's uh, it's an amazing little machine, you know. And quiet. yeah, I, I would never have gotten rid of that Mac Mini if it wasn't for my friend Matt said, "Hey, I'm getting this, you know, super thing to edit." movies and yeah uh i'll sell you my uh my machine oh this thing i got fast. A, for two grand yeah this know? thing this thing is so fast it's ridiculous especially yeah. when you're editing video but anyway uh l l the numbers are going down so let's stop talking tech <laughs> today was quite a day uh in chicago uh to begin with you, you, well you had the you know the jussie smollett thing going on and then you uh, you had uh, what's his name uh, R Kelly, Kelly. Uh, ten right. ten counts uh, ten count indictment courtesy uh -huh. of Michael Avenatti, who yeah, who sent right. who sent the tape uh, the uh, tapes to uh, the police in Chicago, and uh, they based upon that they were able to get an indictment against him. So, you know, uh, didn't Cohen share some stuff with Avenatti that's uh, coming back to haunt them. What? Uh, Michael Cohen, the attorney for Trump, uh, 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 gave Michael Anton Ananati, uh, Avenatti Avenatti uh, um, banking records from Trump. I don't think so. Uh, I don't remember uh, anything like that. Do you, Jeff? I, you, you, Jeff yeah, is going. No, no, I that that Jeff doesn't no? remember anything oh. like that. Yeah. Uh, I thought I was watching Chris Como or Cuomo or whatever his name is. Yeah. And they, they mentioned that. All right. Yeah. You can't remember Cuomo? No. <laughs> By the way, I didn't remember Cuomo when my neurologist said to me quickly, well, who's the governor of the state of New York? And I couldn't. I was just, I grew up Rockefeller. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking, oh, God, the guy's going to have me going off to some kind of psych ward somewhere or something. You know? And yeah. then he said, well, okay, who's the mayor of New York? And I couldn't, I couldn't do that either. Um, <laughs> but it's the block. It's not Lindsay know, anymore. No. Yeah, yeah. It's, Didn't it's, he invent the word the Big Apple? Uh, who? Uh, Isn't he I think so. No, I think so. No, I don't think so. I think that goes all the way back to uh, who was that? The uh, mayor, uh, Jimmy. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. He was like a really fancy dude. And, yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was Lindsay. That I'm looking it up right now. I thought you were right. Yeah. Uh, you're right, uh, Alex. Yeah, Jimmy. John Fitzgerald. Oh, John Fitzgerald. John J. Fitzgerald. Big Apple is a nickname for New York City. It was first popularized in the 20s by John J. Fitzgerald, a sports writer for the New York Morning oh, Telegraph. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, why you know do we that? think that it was Lindsay? I don't know. You know, and maybe it was repopularized during the Lindsay uh, administration. administration. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to him, John Lindsay? I th didn't he? Di did he die? Uh, he was old. Yeah, I really been old. Yeah, I think he died. I think oh. he died. I just assume everybody's dead. When I find <laughs> out they're alive, then I'm pleasantly surprised. You know, <laughs> you know? My, Mike Allen probably did die. And he went to hell, and they met him there, and they said, "No, you can't come in here." Well, you know how come I back. never, you know how I, ne how I never like Mike Allen, but yeah. I got very concerned about the possibility that he might have met his demise. All right, yeah, and not with any great, you know, happiness. I was worried yeah. about him. All right, but now I hate him again, and I and I hate him because his son of a bitch disappears for two months. 
Right. No, no oh, apology. Almost two months. Comes back, no apology. And right. fucking Jack is like kissing his fucking ass last night. And I'm I going, know. if I were Jack, I would have told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know because what you're in you're in a place where they I'm sure they had a telephone, you know. Well, he, he said it was for his foot, but I think it was a psych ward. I think he, he <laughs> you know, they got those straight jackets. Well, well he your, kind of last night on I, like last this. night on Jack's show, I think he was changing his tune that it, it wasn't just his it wasn't his his diabetes foot. or whatever, or his foot or whatever that it was something else. You know. Yeah, I, I, he didn't admit to anything, but uh, it, it did sound a little fishy to me that, you know, for his foot, so, he vanished. So if you're, if you're listening, uh, we take back all the, the, the worry and concern <laughs> that we had for you and tell you to go Sorry. fuck yourself because you made us worry about you like Now, this. Charlie, you had one of those ulcers. How long did they put you in a rehab or a psych ward? Uh, or was it an outpatient procedure? It was an outpatient procedure. Okay. Huh. So uh, then then Mike was in jail. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got this little thing. He finally pissed somebody off in the McDonald's. I got this little thing, thing here. Me. It's about the size of the head of a pin. Yeah. And it, it, it's like it's got a scab on it, but it itches all the time. Yeah. Now it wouldn't be. That's not a. That's not an open sore. That's a closed. Nah, sore. If the foot falls off, it'll no, go away. Oh God! But it's just been. You know, and when mine's put, the size of a quarter, so <clears throat> pretty yeah. Pretty big. Oh, okay. Well, when mine gets to the size of a quarter, I'll let you know. But anyway, so uh, uh, they go for twenty-five. Uh, so anyway, so 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 fuck Mike Allen and. Uh, you know, I'm um, uh, I'm sorry. Now you're not dead because then I could have all that worrying would have been gone for something. You know. Yeah. Um, boy, I mean, I just I figured if anybody was gonna say, "Hey, I'm not dead. Don't worry about me. I'm in the hospital or whatever," it would be him. He'd call up Jack and tell him. You know. Yeah. You know, but he didn't. The then that that was being inconsiderate. Mike. Well, maybe he didn't have enough commissary to use the phone. Oh. <laughs> he, he had enough money on cigarettes. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just keep, have another pack of cigarettes there, Mike. <laughs> By the way, in the hospital, he, he, said, he said he couldn't smoke in the hospital. Yeah, he said he went outside. Yeah, yeah. Well, he could go outside, but he couldn't make a phone call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know how old Mike is. But 64. at his age, why quit he, smoking? You know, whatever damage yeah. is going to happen has already happened. Uh, he's, he's, not, he's probably yes. mid-60s. Yeah. No, no. His birthday is June of 54. He's 64 years old. He's going to be 65. He's, he's a couple days okay. older or younger so, than me. So should, if he, should he quit smoking now? Yes. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. More packs a day. Jeff said <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeff on. said yes. Why, Jeff? <laughs> Because let's assume that he he wants to be another year older. <laughs> it's a statistical thing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. He, he yes. said he wasn't going to quit. You know, uh, on <laughs> Jack's show good. last night, because Jack asked him. He says, "You know, you're going to quit smoking. That would have been a good opportunity. Uh -huh. You know, if you're laid up for a month or two uh, with no smoking." I see, yeah. I don't know why. Why people don't quit smoking? Now, here's the here's my thinking behind this, because I quit years ago. But I'm glad I don't smoke, because have you seen what cigarettes cost yeah. these days? You see what it does to your skin? No, forget about that. Forget about that. Yeah. Forget about all the side effects it's and everything. It's a car payment every month. It, 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 if you, uh, what, a pack of cigarettes is now $12, is $12 in Manhattan? Yeah, it's, it could be more than that. I think it was twelve dollars when I was still. I used there. to buy a carton of cigarettes for three dollars for crying out loud. That's right. You I know? quit when it was fifty cents a pack for Marlboros. Yeah, and and and, and they go well. 70s. The reason why we have it so expensive now is because it will encourage people to quit smoking. No, it doesn't encourage them to quit smoking. It just makes them get cancer and not be able to afford to pay to get it cured. You know, I mean. I mean, the price of cigarettes is just incredible. And they stink, and your clothes stink. I have, I have two people that work for me that smoke. One of them doesn't seem to smell 
from it. But uh, this one salesman, mm-hmm. uh, he walks in from outside. I can't even walk into the bathroom when he's been, uh, you know, went outside, had his cigarette, went to the bathroom. And I smell, I just, it, it, it permeates. Uh, I, I got to tell you, uh, I mean, I, we don't, I don't know many people who smoke anymore. It's just not, you know, it's not in anymore. Uh, they're yeah. probably young people doing more smoking now. And this vaping, they yeah. say, may be dangerous. Worse. Yeah, well, not worse. Oh, the, the, but, it's got nicotine. The, Those but, jewel well, things. No, yes, uh, but but it isn't the nicotine that causes the problems. It's the tar, it's the tar. And, and the additives they put in cigarettes like saltpeter and so on Yeah. Uh, that, that cause. Well, they probably gave Mike that for a while uh, mm-hmm. when he was uh, in the big house. Like I used to smoke uh, <laughs> Sherman Cigarettellos. Mainly yeah. because I was fatuous and also because it didn't have any additives in it. And I think maybe that saved my life because I wasn't inhaling all that saltpeter and all those additives that they put into cigarettes. Nicotine in and of itself may not be a, a killer, but it's the additives that are. You, you know, know uh, and when I was working in Richmond, we had a, uh, a lot of people that would smoke those uh, Sherman cigarettes. But they they called them sherms, and and they used to put PCP in them, and uh, so a sherm was uh, one of those Sherman cigarettes with PCP lace PCP. Well, now you just took my old habit away from me. I, I used to think of those cigarettes <laughs> with great, uh, you know, but it, but it, 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 secret, they, they, yeah. and they were two dollars a pack. They were two. Yeah. I spent big money on cigarettes. Right? Did you ever smoke Dunhills? No, you know, you, you come back from Europe, no, and you, no. you get the Dunhills no. in that little round box. No, 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 no. Yeah. That, that was for that was for sissies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cigarettellos were a really, and they used to go out too. They didn't, they didn't because they didn't have saltpeter in them. If you didn't keep puffing on them, they would go out, and you'd have to relight them. You know, but they were cigarettes. They were, but so nicotine isn't really the big problem. It's all the all the additives and things like that. But people people say to me, I can't part. quit. And I went, well, you know, I quit. And um, they said, how'd you do it? Like there's some kind of magic thing in, in how you, how you, uh, 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 you know, how you, how you uh, stop smoking. And there really isn't a magic formula. The best I, way I never, to, I never quit. Well, what I what did, I did what, was I put off the next cigarette another hour. Well, no, this is what I said. Mm-hmm. I said, first of all, if you're going to quit smoking, never say I'm going to quit smoking. You say yeah. I'm going to see how long I can go without smoking. Well, I only I would say to myself, well, I made it to this time. Yeah. Let me go another hour. But if and then if well, it, but the point that I'm making is, if you say you're going to quit, you're putting a barrier in front of yourself. Sure. If you say I'm yeah. going to see how long I can go without smoking, you're throwing a challenge at yourself. And there, there's a difference in the mentality there. And that's what I did. I just said, I want to see how long I can go without smoking. And so far now it's been, I don't know, 40 years. I don't know how long. I quit in yeah. 1982, 83. Yeah, I quit Something in like 76. That. Bottom line is you got to want to. Well, well I, I wanted to. But, but also it was just a matter of, just saying, I'm going to see how long I can go without smoking. And, and, and you know, uh, I had certain things I did to make it easier. I took some, they had a thing called Bantron at the time, which was a nicotine pill you would mm-hmm. take that would take the edge off of it. And I did that for just a couple of days. And then, uh, and then whenever I felt I wanted a cigarette, I just took a deep breath in and held it. You know? uh, I, I'm having trouble remembering in my mind, did you smoke menthols? No, no, okay. no. In the very beginning, when I first started, when oh, when no. Ronnie, when Ronnie had no, me, when you were in Sausalito, started me smoking. Ronnie was yeah. the one that started me smoking. Really? Uh, yeah, it was Newports, and I was so into smoking, man. I went out and I got the Newport lighter. You know, I got the Newport cigarettes. I was, oh I, Jesus, I, I, yeah. Uh, and before I knew it, I was hooked. You know, and and uh, I smoked for twenty years. You know, and and now when I think about smoking, I can't imagine myself a smoker. It's like you know, it just disappeared. Uh, so, uh, you know, I I'm I'm very happy with it, but I'm happy because I look at the cost of cigarettes and I go, I couldn't afford that today. Yeah, that's insane. 
Yes, you know, Jeff. When I pull off the freeway, there's always uh, 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 somebody with a sign. I, that I, says, I said you know, yes, Jeff. Oh, I, I was going to say I I quit smoking several times, yeah. probably ten different times, and then finally I uh, gave it up on uh, because of sex. Because of sex? Ah. Yeah, my yeah. wife said. No more sex until you stop smoking. Oh, really? Oh, that'll do it. Because, 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 because wait a minute, because number one, she said no more sex unless you stop smoking. And then yes. you, your reply should have been, but then what do I do after sex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, huh? it was kind of like a joke, but. Yeah. 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 It worked. <laughs> but it, it, mentally, it worked. I don't know. It was kind of like it's I, like. Look, I I just say to anybody who who smokes, stop. You know, stop right now. You can do it. If if I could do it, I mean, it's it's it, you're not powerless over it. It just seems like this huge hurdle that isn't as much of a huge hurdle as you think it is. You know, and yeah. and just uh, you know, don't don't say to yourself, "I'm quitting smoking." Just say, "I'm going to see how long I can go without a cigarette." Have you found that smokers are indignant when you tell them that, you know, hey, don't smoke around me. No, I, I never you know, I need I ne some fresh air. I never say that to smokers. Well, I don't either, but I've noticed that some smokers will say, hey, I got a right to smoke, uh, you know, and. Uh, no, I w look, I have people who would come into my house and say, yeah. do you m mind if I smoke? And my answer was, I quit. You didn't. Yeah. You know, and I let people smoke in my house. I asked him to crack a window, you know, but uh, I, I, maybe today I wouldn't put up with it any longer. And people don't walk into your house anymore and start smoking, you know. Yeah. Now everybody uh, knows to, to go out to the garage or go outside. Yeah. yeah. You don't people have to don't say even, it. A lot of people. No, don't I'm, even I'm smoke thinking. In their own I, house. I really have no social life. I mean, I have no real friends. You know, I, I have a Shecky and I have uh, Jack, and that's about it. You know, those are my friends that I talk to. If I smoked, I would have to go down to the sidewalk and yeah. smoke. Cold. And, and there are other people that... You can't that, smoke in your apartment? Well, I, do, I, I don't know, oh, but, uh, well, your girlfriend would go crazy. But let's say oh, I then had okay. to go down to the sidewalk to smoke, <laughs> and um, I'd meet a lot more people that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Even a lot of people don't even smoke in their own houses. It, Walnut yeah. Creek is the, first, is the first city that outlawed smoking in bars and public places uh, in the country. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in Walnut Creek, and I live in a multi-unit building. And one of the things I was sort of concerned about when I sold my house and was going to move into an apartment was I didn't want to smell smoke through the walls. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm lucky, uh, you know, that one of the reasons I'm not moving out of Walnut Creek anytime soon is there's no smoking. So, I, you know, I, and, and, you know, there's maybe 100 units in my building and I don't I don't smell anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and I like that. But anyway, I mean, I never I can't remember the last time anybody ever came into my apartment and even went outside to smoke. I mean, I don't think I know that many people who smoke. Oh, I don't know that many people. I mean, look uh, at what look, about the joints? Well, you know, the, the look marijuana. at our look at our crowd here. Yep. Nobody here smokes. Yep. None of yep. you smoke. You know, and uh, we could have another five people from our regular citizen panels here, and uh, none of them smoke. So you know, uh, yeah, yes, Jeff, did you? No, I know uh, kids who are uh, below thirty years old or whatever. They they still smoke pot. That's for sure. Well, smoke yeah. pot. I would yeah. smoke pot. I don't consider that smoking. No, no, that. But I'm just saying they just. No, I mean, I, I've, I'll, I'll take a puff off a joint. I'm not worried about it's going to make me want to have, smoke cigarettes because it's entirely. It'll make you want to do heroin. Yeah, I mean, oh, it yeah. immediately <laughs> makes me want to do heroin. Marijuana yeah. with its roots in hell. Yes, yeah. it, the roots I thought you in high school. Or yeah. high school. So anyway, so we had uh, we had uh, R. Kelly. He's he's in a lot of trouble now. Um, and the uh, uh, Jesse is. I think I think that career is pretty much over. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. yeah. wrote them out of the last two, right? They wrote them out of the last two episodes. They said they don't know what they're going to do about next year, but I know what they're going to they know what they're going to do about next year. Oh, oh boy. You know. So did he have a very a paycheck. He's really got a problem now. Yeah, no yeah. for attorneys. Did he have a very big part in that show? Or? Yeah, he was well, he was he played the son. 
oh. on the show. So he was maybe, I don't know, fifth or sixth in line as a star on the show. Maybe, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't watch that piece of shit. Are you kidding me? Uh, I never watched it. I, I didn't know what it was. I didn't even, I never heard of the guy before. Well, this, wait a minute, so Charles. As, a, bl as a black person, aren't you required by law to watch Empire? <laughs> I watched my two episodes that I was required to watch, and then I, I, sh I shut it down. Yeah. I, I, I watched one episode, and I said, not for me, you know. Um, but uh, uh, supposedly the cast is livid, just livid yeah. with him. You know, I, I, I don't think, think he could apologize. It would have hurt his. Uh, well, he apologized, but I don't think he could have admitted the crime because it would probably hurt his. Uh, what are you doing there? <laughs> Kevin's got a laser. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, it, it would have sealed his faith. Didn't he plead not guilty? And now he's got a. He can't well, just. Well, no, say, he, I, he, I think he apologized to the people at. Uh, the Empire the show, cast right. for for the problem that had occurred, you know, uh, yeah, and then he said, I think he said to them, but I'm not guilty, you know, and, they right. went, they, and, they and were, that seemed to inc uh, incite them and make them angry. Well, they shouldn't make them angry. I mean, come on, you know, he it, it, haven't we learned that it's the national thing now to deny, deny, deny? After all, Trump has taught us that lesson. No, it was it was uh, Clinton that taught us that lesson. <laughs> No. Then how come nobody practiced it? And told you know, me? I got to tell you, Clinton, he, he practiced. No, yeah. was, what, did Clinton, what, exactly what did Clinton? What did Clinton do? Exactly no, no, uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Today. What did Clinton do that was Bill so Clinton. bad? He got a blowjob. Yeah, well, you know, when he was confronted and he had to admit it. He didn't want to admit it. He said he denied because uh, uh, he didn't want Hillary to find out. That's right. So right. Trump I, has the exact same problem. He's got. We have we have proof no. of him yeah, selling. Yeah, but he does Trump it every different. day. Trump paid for his crime. He right, does it exactly. every it's day. Worse. <laughs> nah, how is it worse? <laughs> oh, I I I think that. Uh, well, let, let's just wait. You know, I, we got the Mueller report in about another week and a half or so. So. And more importantly, I really do believe is what's coming out of the Southern District of New York. That's going to fry him. Mm -hmm. There's something yeah, new that they came right. up with, an insurance issue uh, yeah. and the Trump yeah. organization. What was yeah. that about? Supposedly there's a 17 – supposedly he claimed damage. This is one of the, uh, one of the examples. There, yeah. was a, there was a hurricane in, in uh, Florida, and he claimed damages to Mar-a-Lago oh. of $17 million, and there was no damage to Mar-a-Lago. Oh. So that's one of the ones that they're uh, they've got proof of, and they're going after. So uh, now the question is: Are they going to go after him, or do they go after the Trump organization? It, it was a Trump organization thing. Yeah, this is a private company. Remember, this I is know, not a publicly traded company. It's so a the man at the top. Yeah. yeah what kind of paper towels did criminal. he throw that one? That's that is fraud, right? <laughs> what did, oh yeah, you have to what, admit that is fraud. What That's did you? Fraud. What did you? If, if, if what what did you say? That, what did you say, Kevin? I said, what kind of paper towels did he throw at that one? Brownies or <laughs> <laughs> Charmin? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the, the question is also: Can the Southern District of New York go after a sitting president? Or do they have to wait till he's no longer president to charge him with the crimes? Uh, well, it depends on who you talk to. Uh, uh, his attorney general, Barr, says no. Uh, you know, the House uh, re uh, Democrats say yes. So, you know. Well, th think of it, though, Phil. There is going to be a day. Thank goodness there'll be a day when he is no longer in the White House. I don't think so. I think that uh, he'll use executive power to get a third term. You really <laughs> I believe you're right. <laughs> right. If you believe that and you still support that, that's scary. Well, I I was happy with nobody the first should term. have a third I'd term. Vote for him in the uh, second when, term. When Bloomberg got a hey, third this, term, this try. when Bloomberg <laughs> when Bloomberg got a third term here in New York, as much as I like Bloomberg for two uh, terms as as mayor, uh, I didn't want to see him get a third term. And when he did the third term, it was horrid. You know, 
He was doing goofy stuff during his third term. Not as bad as de Blasio's first term. Well, I'll tell you, I watched de Blasio the other day on the air. Now, I have not been following de Blasio, and I know that a lot of people don't like him. I'll, I'll tell you, uh, my friend Shecky does not like de Blasio. I don't like him. Uh, I know a lot of people that don't like him. I know a lot of people that do. I watched him the other day on television, and he was being interviewed, and I thought he was terrific. I thought he uh, was— I on, thought on he what? On what topic? Uh, on just a lot of different topics about, uh, you know, national health and things like that and things that he wants to see. Like in New York City, you know, he I think he make, made the minimum wage in New York City $15, you know, uh, uh, things like that. Talking about he, he's very much, uh, very much, I would say, a socialist, okay, oh, and, yeah. and uh, which makes me happy. And I just thought he was okay. I thought he was well-spoken. Uh, I, uh, Jeff, how do you feel about de Blasio since you live nearby? Yeah, I, you know, I, he seems fine. Every, I, I, you know, I hear him on, on the radio once in a while or, or TV, whatever, and he's, he seems pretty good. I but saw one of his, I don't know him that well. Yeah. I saw I, one I, of his latest, go ahead, go ahead and finish. I, I actually know the guy who's in charge of, uh, of the police. Mm -hmm. He's an old friend of mine. Yeah. I should ask him. He would know. Yeah. He's cracking down on all of the parking in New York City, those uh, the placards that people put in their cars. Oh, handicapped placards? Not handicapped. The ones that say NYPD or uh, NYPD is allowed to give them out. Press is allowed to give them out. The media, rather. Um, yeah. There's like three or four different organizations, and he's switching it to a digital system because there's a lot of fakes out there. And there are people who will take like a, an NYPD blanket or an NYPD jacket and fold it and put it in the window. So so what he's doing is he's he's – first he's coming out with stickers that the, uh, the, the police right now have to use judgment as to whether to ticket a car or not. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a, a sticker system where he can, where the, 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 the traffic enforcement, people could just scan it and find right, you know, right away. And ultimately, True. it's going to be just a completely, they're going to have a database on well, all York, this stuff. That's a New great York idea. Has another, yeah, New York has another problem with parking and cars is that uh, the UN is in New York and you have all oh, these yeah. guys with diplomatic immunity and uh, right. uh, diplomatic plates. I work there. Uh, I'll yeah, tell you. I'll and, tell you what the biggest problem is. I'll tell you this right now. In, in New York, especially, and anybody who's ever taken a cab during the day knows this to be true. If you're trying to drive down, say, oh, I don't know, take any any basic throughway, Broadway, whatever. Yeah. There are so many cars double parked. You yeah. know, UPS, FedEx, uh, yeah. delivery people. That really, a lot of these. Two lane streets are really one lane streets. Yeah. Right. They should make a law where you can't make deliveries until after seven o'clock at night. Yeah. My okay. father's company used to deliver at like three in the morning to these commercial delivery things. We had a truck uh, and we take the carpet mm. and the truck driver would bring it to the different jobs early in the morning and you know the receiving docks were open and there uh, to, you know to get it so this way the installers could go with a normal car and 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 park because you couldn't get these big trucks uh, you know uh, to maneuver around and that was in the early 70s and yeah. late 60s uh, Jeff yeah if I have to go in the city I pretty much take the train instead I don't uh, I, I don't like taking cabs anywhere because it, uh, it, I, I sit there getting apoplectic in the cab because it just isn't moving. It's not that I'm seeing the meter going higher. Oh, you're going oh you want to hear the latest. This, this, this really pissed me off yesterday because I guess I haven't taken a regular cab since Feb February 1st. But as of February, I'm sitting there taking this cab, and all of a sudden a sign comes up on the, on the thing where it shows you how much you're spending, right? And it says... Uh, there is a two dollar and seventy five cent a congestion charge. Wow! <laughs> Tell him to blow his nose. <laughs> and I asked the guy, "What the fuck is that?" And he says, "Oh yeah, they charge now two seventy five additional for riding in a cab because of congestion." 
What's it cost yeah. to put the flag down uh, now oh, in oh. New York in a cab? Uh, I think it's like maybe two seventy five, three dollars, something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so just to drop the flag is going yeah, to be three yeah, bucks. But, uh, and I said to him, I said, so you, so he says, yeah, all the cabs have this now that they have to pay an ex- You already have to pay like a certain amount of money uh, anyway as a surcharge, and now they've added this other surcharge. Yeah, all there's right? a night surcharge. There's a night there's, surcharge. There's yeah, a got app the from the 4 to 7 o'clock at night surcharge. If you put yeah. stuff in the trunk, there's a surcharge. Right? Okay. I don't the think they're, they're charging. The no, they're not the charging trunk. for that anymore. No. Oh, they used to charge for bags. That yeah, they put yeah, in the but, trunk. but not anymore. And uh, what if there was more than one person in the cab? Then they charged an extra for no, two no, passengers. No, oh, no, no. They never did no. that. They no, never did that. No. Didn't they? No. I, I rem- no. Yeah. Okay, I thought no. they did. Where were you living? It's been a long... Uh, it was a long, well. It was a long time since I took a cab in Manhattan. Yeah, but they, it used to be they would charge you to put something in the trunk. Yeah, but they don't yeah. anymore. They don't anymore. Right. But anyway, so I I took a thing down to the Apple Store, which normally cost me maybe twelve bucks, came to twenty dollars because of, of of the two seventy five to blah, 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 blah. And I'm going, and I said to the guy, I said, "Do you get any of this two seventy five? He says, "Oh no, that go." That goes to the city. He says, you know what's even worse? I said, what? He said, I have to pay it. Every yellow cab and green cab has to pay it. But Uber doesn't. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so, and, you know, and who's causing the most congestion these days but Uber and Uber, Lyft yeah. and all of these? And then they don't have to pay it because they don't have a meter the right. drops. Do, do you have to tip on that extra two seventy five? So let's say you get yeah. a, a fifteen twenty dollar <laughs> bill I, and you I, give I, them four I, bucks tip. I always do. You know, yeah. it, when it when it, it says, "Do you want how much you want to give?" I say twenty percent, and it right. takes and it takes yeah, it off of that. You know, I used to take a cab from radio from Rockefeller Center to Penn Station, which is what? Is that twenty blocks? Twenty yeah. used to be three bucks. Well, then now, I got on a subway, and I had to go down to see Jack at the hospital, and I had to go from 8th Avenue down to 1st Avenue and then from 12th over to 16th. And uh, he he says, I get in the cab, and the guy says to me, give me $10, and I'll do it without <laughs> without without doing it on the meter. Was that for a blowjob? I think, I, think, <laughs> I think what's starting to happen out there is a lot of guys are doing it this way because right. the, they, the other way, they're losing money. Yeah, they're with they all get the in taxes. trouble if they don't flag the meter and they got a passenger? <laughs> Hell no. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's but who's going to turn him in if he's doing you a favor? Well, cop yeah. sees it. You, know, you can pull him over. Yeah. You know, I, I, what I don't understand is if you, if you don't put the flag down, the light still, you know, the yeah, light says you're available. People and people are trying to hail you. All the but time. you, but you can. I think you can. Uh, you can go off. Say off duty. Off duty. Off duty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, um, uh, all I'm saying is, is that uh, you know, it, it, it's getting ridiculous to take a cab now. So, uh, and I said, why are they doing that? Because they want to make people take the subways. I said, the subways are crowded <laughs> enough as it is already. You know. So what they yeah, want us to take? Are the subways harder to get to get on because uh, uh, it, it, it depends on they're like they're not uh, they, there's not as many times that they go by. It, it depends on the time of day, you know. It really yeah. depends on the time of day. Uh, so I, it's hard for me to answer. I'd rather take the bus. Huh? I'd rather take the bus. I used to take the oh, bus, shit. stay above ground. Yeah. Us. Where is uh, where? Well, it looks you know, like he's in the city. Well, you know where. We, Hello. We, we had that uh, game. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Uh, we have a new one. Yeah. Where in the world is Ray Renati? Let's see here. I'd say Ray is on the streets of San Francisco. That's right, with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Yeah, you know, and Carl Malden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm near. I'm on Ocean Avenue near City College. Oh, really? okay. I used to go to City College. Yeah, you know, I lived right off the ocean. same furniture. You know, why, yeah. you know why I went to City what College of San buy? Francisco? No, Col- the culinary. I went yeah. to the city. I went to City College of San Francisco because I couldn't get into San Francisco State. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, First I two years uh, of my life were on Plymouth and Ocean. And you know why? You know why people go to San Francisco State? 
because they couldn't they get couldn't into get the get University of California. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it too noisy? I can turn off my mic. Whoa. It's, it's when you not... don't talk, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so well, he... anyway, I'm here. I'm here because I'm rehearsing for uh, the musical Mamma Mia. I'm actually in the show at mm -hmm. City College oh, you as a did. student. Yeah, well, as a student, oh. so I got a union waiver, so I'm not getting paid anything. Yeah. But I got to do something, so I had to register for classes, so they don't have to do the union thing. Now, what what union are you a member of? Uh, well, I'm a member of SAG After and also yeah. Actors Equity. Oh, okay. Actors Equity, mm -hmm. which yeah. is the stage managers and the actors union. Yeah, because I'm yeah. I'm, I'm SAG After, so. Yeah, me too. Now, yeah. City SAG. College of San Francisco was going to lose their accreditation uh, a couple of years ago uh, for a mismanagement of uh, money and, and their administration not accounting oh, for. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! No, 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 no! Where's the bag? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going on here. I mean, this is like I, I, I love Filipino people. They're like my I, I have a lot of Filipino friends, uh, but you know, Daily yeah. City and over here is just so so you what might you, as well be in the Philippines. What part are you <laughs> playing? What part are you playing in Mamma Mia? Sam. Sam. The part that Pierce uh, Brosnan uh -huh. and, on, uh, in the movie. Yeah. And and do you I hear there's a I hear there's a gig uh on Empire. All you got to do is put on blackface. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't believe you said that. Well, it's the internet. You're allowed to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can play some blackface, yo. Yeah. Let me it. ask you this, then. Uh, 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 that character does have a song in Mamma Mia, does he not? Yes, a hard one. But I can sing it. But poor poor uh, what, uh, Pierce could not sing it. Well, could you give us, a while you're walking down the streets of San Francisco, oh, give us a rendition? Uh, <laughs> I don't know it that well yet. Oh, God. Well, g give it a yeah, try. I only had two rehearsals. G what? I've had one rehearsal where I sang this song, and I can't even remember the damn words. Give it a try. Uh, give it a try. Well, I've got to remember the tune. Shit, someone's got to help me. I need, to, I, need a, I need someone to help me start. Does it have anything to do with the word Mamma Mia? No, uh, I can't remember right now. This is terrible. I'm sorry. I, 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 it's all new to me. It just started yeah, why, a couple of days ago. What, no, that's one, why you no, one, no wonder they're not paying you. Ray, yeah, no, it started it, like two days ago. Don't worry. It started a couple of years ago for me. I still I can't remember anything either. <laughs> no, but I have like 10 songs to sing. There's just one where I sing most of it, but there's like 10 12 songs that to be a part of. I well, can't I, I've forgotten every song that ABBA ever did, but that's on purpose. Well, you don't forget. <laughs> what about Dancing Queen? You probably remember that, right? Dancing Queen! I can't sing that. Right. <laughs> you know Dancing Queen, right? Yeah, yeah that's Elton John, isn't it? No, yeah. no that's ABBA. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Elton John was a Dancing Queen, but he... That was the <laughs> joke, Phil. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> hey, I saw, I've seen Elton John live. He is amazing. Uh, oh, I, I saw him. Yeah. I saw him in Barcelona at the at a soccer at a, do, a soccer stadium during the Olympics. And he was yeah. he, he did a show. It was the best concert I've ever been to in my life. Absolutely. Same here. He's great. He's awesome. He's uh, talking about because I because you go, well, what's what's happening? You know, uh, it, so it's Elton John. It's going to be an Elton John concert, right? And I, I even talked, we talked to him before he went on and everything. And uh, I, I figured, hey, he's okay, you know. And then he started doing one song. And I went, oh, yeah, that was his hit. And they did another song. Before he was through, he had done an hour, and you knew every fucking song he did. I know. I you know. know. And then, and then he had the whole, life. he had 75,000 people on their feet fucking dancing. I mean, it was an amazing yep. concert. And it is, it was on Laserdisc and on, on DVD, uh, his Barcelona concert. And, uh, he is yeah. absolutely incredible. I saw him at Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View. He played for three hours without a break. And he, he, he got on top of the piano, played it with his nose, played it upside down. <laughs> I mean, I, it was incredible. And the guy was already like 60 years old. Yeah. No prostate yeah. problems, huh? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's amazing. He's totally amazing. He's amazing. <clears throat> he was absolutely amazing. It, it is, it, to me, 
It is the most memorable concert I've ever been to. And I've been to things like the Stones, you know, and so on. But for sheer, for mem- just saying, boy, what a concert. <coughs> that was it. Hey, hey, Phil, did you see the Stones are going to be in town again? Uh, in no. In a couple months? Yeah. <laughs> but I guess they're do. final, 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 well, final it, tour. They, they have a name for it. They have a name for it. The Steel Walker Tour. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'd go if if I could go if Gabnet would get me a photo pass. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey! Good idea. Yeah, I Network. doubt that I would get a photo pass for the Stones. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it well, and so they're going to do one more concert. This this is it for them, right? Well, I saw yeah, it 25 like years ago. Years I saw ago. their final concert. I saw. Right. It, I went to the uh, Oakland Coliseum. Supposedly their final concert. It had to be twenty, at least twenty years ago. At least no, it was more than that. Yeah. Like twenty five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I wasn't even married yet. I, I remember that uh, when Alex was at Camel, the Stones were in San Francisco. Yes, they were at Candlestick and, Park. Yeah, and he, I, you probably you went because you gave me your your pass, which was a uh, which was like a fabric. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a fabric uh, thing that stuck to your jacket. Yeah. That was a Stones pass, and you gave it to me, and I put it on a book, and I had it for a long time, and now I don't know where it is. Yeah, I, I, they played I, over in Oakland I, too I, at the Day on the Green too, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we yeah, we did a show. We did a show from the concert. We couldn't do the concert itself, but we were up in yeah. the booth and we were doing, uh, 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 you know, a pre-show as it were. Yeah. Uh, that was the last time I saw him, and I'm going to go see him at Levi's too. Yeah, um, I posted. I had tickets to see him in Singapore until SARS broke out. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, let me I see. Don't know here. why I'm going. But... Who, who have I? Who have I seen live? I've seen the Stones live. The Beatles saw them live. In fact, uh, uh, Ringo stand, stood uh, 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 what, stood on my hand or. We was, they were running off stage, and my hand was on the stage stair, and he mm-hmm. he stepped on my hand. So yeah. nice. That's my memory so, of that. Uh, Ringo gave you a hand job, and then I think I emceed. <laughs> I emceed. I emceed the Rolling. No, I I know. I I yeah. I emceed the Rolling Stones concert. Yeah. Well, here comes Richard Johansson again. He's in Copenhagen. Let's see if this answers. Yes, it does. Now let's see if he comes through here i've got him up yeah no damn it what is wrong every time he tries to call i can't get him he let doesn't have here. the right skype let me do that let me see here are you oh, there he goes I don't, I don't know he has a problem he always has a problem uh, he called from uh thailand no it wasn't thailand, thailand. he was he was yeah. calling from copenhagen yeah yeah uh, and well, it, if, if I used my VPN, would it say I was calling from uh, whatever country? Yeah, it I, would. It, it would. actually on that Skype though. Oh, but on a phone. On a phone. On if you did a cell, your call. IP address would be yeah. from there. So you know what be, I don't I like don't, about VPN? Mm-hmm. I find whenever I use it, the signal is slower. Uh, you know? Yeah, it but you know, the VPN you use. Well, he's got the same one. I got Nord VPN. Yeah, I know. I know well, the here one we I go. Here we go, in. and he is not. He's not coming through here. You know what I use it for? Sometimes I'm looking at a, a clip on a on a website, and it says this this uh, cannot be viewed in your country. So oh, I go to porn. a. No, no, no. It was uh, it was about shark diving, and uh, and so I'll say okay, the UK uh, on the thing, and then all of a sudden I'll be able to view the t- uh, view the video. Yeah. Well, hey, if you want me to sing some of the song now, I can. I just looked it up and I remember part of it. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> are, are you ready? Here from the cast ready. of Mamma Mia at uh, City College of San Francisco. Are there any cops around? Huh? This is just a tip. Yeah, I got a lot of weed. Richard, wait a minute. Richard Johansson, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Richard Johansson oh, writes me and says, you don't want to answer. No, I try to answer, but I can't answer you because for some reason... This thing doesn't want to let me answer, so I hang up on you because you keep ringing. Uh, I, I'm trying, uh, 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 Richard, but I can't do it. It will not. There's something wrong on your end. Oh, here he goes again. This is annoying, and I'll hit add to group call. 
and nothing will happen. Watch. Nothing. Call him back so he doesn't think you're No, I, tr I No, if I try to call back, it doesn't work. Watch. I'll call back. Watch this. Hold on a second. We'll get our... Let's see here. Okay, there we go. And it's going to ring, and it's going to ring, and it's going to ring, and uh, he's not going to pick up. So, whatever. Uh, All right, let's get our song there, Ray. Okay, Ray. All right. All right, I'll sing the chorus of SOS, okay, without any accompaniment. Mm -hmm. Except for the buses. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, buses. You're, oh, shit. I'm about to get run over by a bus. Crap. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Wait a that. second. Okay. You ready? I'll just stay here. Okay. Here it goes. So when you're near me, darling. Wait a minute. So when you're near me, darling, can't you hear me? SOS. The love you gave me, nothing else can save me. SOS. When you're gone, how can I try? Even try to go on. There you go. How much when is that going to cost you, Alex? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't stop to think about hey, that. Hey, look, 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 look. Wait a second. <clears throat> you can't dance to it, but it has a really Well, good listen, beat. he was so out of tune, I don't think they will be able to recognize <laughs> wait, it, it on it YouTube. Oh, it's man. your driver's license, sir. You guys are rough. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I, was, I don't know the key. I can't. I'm just trying to do it acapella. We don't have video, by the way, on you, Ray. Yeah. Step oh. to the side of the car, sir. Put your hands on the top of the car. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hands behind you. You guys are brutal. I knew I, sh I knew I shouldn't have done that. I, I, you know what the problem is? The problem is that we didn't have the choreography that went along yeah. with it. Yeah. Well, and the music. And the music. And it's hard to sing that on your own. Yeah. When that you just was learned it. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. yeah. I mean, it's freaking brutal. It's too high for me. Well, I'm a baritone, and I have to sing like this tenor song i'll figure it out yeah but don't they don't they oh here comes richard quit trying okay quit they trying. probably can't hear you do they have some sort of like Wait, karaoke no. thing uh, where you, when you no. sing into the microphone it no it'll, no it'll help it along <laughs> did you get the plymouth yet okay i'm never doing that again i am never <laughs> doing that again because i uh, look look i've been in like 50 musicals it takes a while to get everything perfect i don't have music with me I'm just doing it out on the fucking street in a shitty microphone. And I'm freezing cold, and I don't even know the song yet. Yeah, so that's well, that. All of those people started gathering around you and uh, said, "You know, hey, you, where's your wallet?" <laughs> and there were, <laughs> I, and there I were thought the guy gave howling. you uh, three dollars. Did, did you hear the dogs howling in the yeah. background? Uh, <laughs> the, oh, that and was were, dogs. I thought it was SOS. <laughs> no, and there were some coyote. There's yeah. some coyote that made their way over from Golden Gate Park. Now, why are you, why are you walking? No, they came across are you, the wall. Why are you walking to City College? No, I, I, no. here's what happened. I went to rehearsal. Yeah. I was already here an hour early, and I get a text from the director saying, oh, you don't need to come. The musical director says, and I drove an hour and a half to get here. So I went in, and I did like an hour of the rehearsal, and I left, and I went for a walk because I needed some exercise. So that's a scoop. Oh, oh so that's what it is. Yeah, because they don't have a stage manager. Do yet, they? So do they still have? To tell me. Do they still have their parking? Lot? Richard, quit trying, okay? Richard, he can't hear you. Quit trying, okay? Maybe you need to fight him. Huh? Fight him. He can't hear you. Yeah. You know? uh, 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 yeah. I wonder. Can I send him a, a, a thing? I'm sorry. I enjoy the show. Thank you, Richard. I like it, but uh, don't call. <laughs> He's being sarcastic now because he thinks you're rejecting him. I'm not rejecting him. I just, he just, I know, I know. He, for some reason, every time he calls, I can't connect him. So it has something to do with the fact that it's coming from Copenhagen. You know? Well, it was Thailand. Uh, maybe, Thailand. I, Thailand. I, I think it may be something as, as uh, oh, what happened? Who did? Who, who Somebody did? pushed a button. Somebody pushed Whoa. a button, and I bet I know who it is, too. Me? It, no. No. No, I bet uh, 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 Jeff, hang up, Jeff. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that. weird. Hang up and yeah, then call us back again. I can see his desktop right call there. Call us back I'm again. Like a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's Stein. you, Jeff. Look, see what Jeff oh, my does. God. Yeah, it says Jeff. Oh, yeah. oh, right great, great, great. great. Jeff, Jeff's hang up. Just with his mouse. hang up your Skype. Just get out of your Skype. There we go. Uh, I, I think he, uh, he turned off his. Uh, now I don't get ever. Now I, I don't get. Now oh nobody. no, Jeff. Uh, let's Jeff. Let's password. <laughs> oh Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Let's Jeff. See some porn. Oh. He's still there, Jeff. That's a. Hey, what's that red 
S O S. Jeff, Jeff. Huh? He's just still hang up. Get to reboot your machine, <laughs> Jeff. We get out Jeff, of this. We just need to close oh, Skype. Just close Skype. Close Skype out, Jeff. Hang up and call back. And and uh, Richard. Reboot. He's gonna he's gonna have to log in again because he can't reboot. close Skype. He has to reboot. Yeah, he has to reboot. Oh, yeah. oh, you can oh, just boy. go up there and close it. Well, I wait, wait, uh, take control. Control Alt Delete. No, no, it's a Mac. Oh. And, oh, and, it's a Mac. And, and this Richard Johnson keeps asking, it keeps calling. This is getting to be annoying. Richard, if you're listening. Oh, no. Jeff. Jeff. Oh, God. I'm uh, trying. Jeff. Yeah. Just, uh, just, just uh, turn, off your computer. Go turn your now. computer off. Yeah, just he's turn, getting nervous turn, because now he can't type Turn your computer thing. off. Give him a break here. He's, yeah. he's got to get back turn, in to get turn off. Turn your computer off. And and between that and Richard Johansson, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just fucking block him. That's the best you know what? way. I think the Thai government might be blocking yeah, him. Yeah, block this person. No, he's okay. in Copenhagen. Block. Oh. Okay. Right. I'm well, you know those Danes. I, I just blocked him. Yeah. The so socialists. I'm, wait a minute. They don't like shit like that. Are you listening to us, Jeff? Can you hear us? What? He's trying. Can, Jeff, him just nervous. turn your machine off. All right. I'm just all tur turn it You're off. making him nervous. Relax. Just turn it off. Because <laughs> until you turn it off, we can't see everybody else because you somehow hit that thing to share your screen with everybody I, else. I see everybody's in circles now. Yeah, at the yeah top. me too. Little tiny circles. Uh, he, hasn't, be... he, he hasn't hung up. Well, he's trying. It, it's, well, it's just shutting down. Just, it's probably push the just button. Down push the off second. button. Just I'm turn plugging. the machine off. <laughs> uh, just do a, oh, a cold boot. Just push the uh, on off button. Keep it in until it turns off. Yeah, hold it down for like five seconds. Yeah. And yeah. then sing. S O S. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we don't have to wait. Uh, we can fill with Ray. You got any other songs? No. <laughs> I'll sing whatever you want. As, as, as a baritone? Uh, lie with me. Uh, he, you know okay. something? He just is... The loveliness oh, of Paris. Jeff is still... Sadly gay. Jeff is still online. Yeah. Yep. He, likes he just it. hit the power button on his computer. Y yeah. He needs uh, to hold uh, it down for five seconds. Yeah. Jeff, are you? can you hear us, Jeff? Wait a minute. It, well, no. Uh, we only I'm going to try, nine I'm gonna try and dump him. And, and Alex, okay. you can't hang okay. up Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got everybody back again. Oh, you know what? I can dump him here. Uh, Let's see if I, I can still... dump There, I got him. You, I dumped him. You got him? He's not uh, dumb. Thank you. Uh, uh, remove this person from group. I just removed him oh, from the call. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could. Anybody could do that. Boy. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, so when Phil gets yeah, really that nasty, doesn't bode we well for just... me. <laughs> <laughs> the socialist could just dump you. Yeah. Actually, I could have gone to the bottom of the screen probably and brought everybody back up again. I don't know. I mean, it's just that, that's what I hate about this new Skype is just that that one person can control what goes on besides you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we can. Sucks. We have the ability yeah. to hang up on anybody. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. I went to the. I went to his name and just removed from call, and there he went. Wow. Yeah, from on you, but he was still yeah. here. I had to remove him from from what, the call. What's the icon for sharing? So I know not to touch it. I don't it, it, know. It doesn't show up until you go down into the bottom corner. Yeah. And it's right next to that little heart. To uh, the left or the right. On the right side, and it's got the two screens. It says share screen, and if you accidentally click that, you're going to share with everybody. Oh, I have a yeah, plus. Yeah, I did that once. It's Jeff's done that it's so in, many It's times. only in the new Skype. Jeff, Jeff does it all the I time. Have... I don't know why. Okay, if yeah. you scroll down, there's a heart, and then there's a snapshot, and then there's a two screens, and that's the share screen. Oh, I see the share screen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, don't do that. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll walk through the annals of City College to give Alex uh, uh, some reminiscence. Well, wait a minute. Now, do they still have a? Do you still have people park in the reservoir? Uh, no, it's a parking lot now. Well, but yeah, I mean, it was no, a parking lot, but it, it's it's next it, to the reservoir. But, but it was a reservoir. Yeah. yeah, but now it's a giant parking lot. It's over there. Yeah, I, don't know if you can see yeah, I think it. it's the same. I think it was a park. It was a reservoir anyway. Way down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, but huge. They paved it over. 
It's humongous. Yeah, I know. It was a parking yeah. lot when I went there. Yeah, oh, okay. me too. And that was 1974. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Then is so, is the is I got to take a leak, so it, I'm going to go. It's still the main in. the main uh, thing for uh, San Francisco City College. Uh, the use of um, uh, you know a restaurant management. Uh, uh, I don't know. That was like the main. Know. Everybody ever wanted to go into restaurant management went to San Francisco City College. I understood they had a really good program. They did, uh, and they also had a lot of people did, working did they, free about, in the restaurant at the at the college. When you go to the college, they, it was like yeah. When you were in San Francisco City College, you went to the commissary. It was being run completely by all these students. <laughs> they got free, uh, free, you know, work. Yeah, yeah. the only class I used Where to show I? up for was art history. I liked that one. The rest of them I never showed. Yeah, okay. I registered but didn't go. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're walking in. Oh no, the door's locked. Damn it. Uh, yeah. Better hope your keys aren't in there. No, they're in my pocket. Mm -hmm. ah, shit. It's Friday, so it's hard to get into these. In. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, I'll, try, oh. I'll try one more area. You sure you're not going to get arrested? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I was. I, I can go in here and. I, I made a. I, I made a big mistake. The rest of the people are still in there. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, block him again, and go back to you guys. I had oh, to. I had man. to block. Uh, I, 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 Richard Johansson just keeps calling and calling and calling. He, he doesn't even get the idea. And I block. Why don't you write him afterwards? I blocked say, hey, him. Look. I've blocked yeah. him. I'm going to write well, him and I've... just say, you know, don't try because you, it's just it. It's taken up the last 15 minutes of this program. Yeah, he's well, got to be doing uh, something like. We're using an old contact or something, or, it, or, or, or he's doing. He, maybe maybe it's something just coming out of Copenhagen. You know, for all we yeah. know, but he had the same yeah. problem in Thailand. No, it's the social. He didn't have he a was problem. In Bangkok no, last week. no, he wasn't in Bangkok. He was in Copenhagen. Uh, no, he was in Thailand no, last no, time I heard him. No, yeah, no, no. He wrote me and said, "No, I'm not in Thailand. I'm in Copenhagen." Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, that certainly Maybe has made it for an interesting show, I but I'll tell you, the numbers keep going up. I never can figure it out. Whenever we have nothing but problems, people love to see things like this happen. It's because it's a man on the street. They love it. Like when I was in Safeway, giving my wife flour. Well, Flowers. Flour. Let's see. Flour. Flour. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, can't get in the building, and I have to take a leak. You remember that guy, Mal Sharp? He was the man on the street? Yeah. Is there yeah. any? Is there, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Ray, is there anybody around? No, I'm gonna take the leak right here. Oh, okay, go ahead. You go Which take bush should I use? Yeah. Huh? Uh, bush, bush in the bush. This one. Well, lit. hurry up. We only got about 50 seconds. Better here. turn off your here camera. Goes, you'll, be on, you'll be. Where's you'll the have security? Evidence. Here it goes. Here we go. Here okay. it goes. Turn off your camera. Uh, you'll have write evidence. Write your name on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's Woo! quite a stream for a 50 oh, some odd year old guy. Oh, this is a new high. Oh, it's for fucking Gavin. awesome. Yeah, yeah. We really. Oh, awesome. It's really wonderful uh, what we just did. Oh, shit, there's yeah. someone coming. There's yeah. someone coming for my show. Shit. Is it security? <laughs> no, somebody hey, from, hey, from hey, my Bill, rehearsal just got hey, out. Bill, remember yeah. when we used to be able to do that real quick? Now, yeah. now we'd get busted. Oh, for yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Power to yeah, yeah. No, I, it no takes it's 20 just, minutes before you get a stream. <laughs> no, it's only because I had to go really bad. Then you know what? It's a good thing. Be running down our pants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I got that. I have to push the little button underneath. You know what? Um, it's a good thing I did that because a bunch of people just got out. Well, okay. <laughs> and you're on a camera somewhere. Oh shit! Now that was a new, a new, new high, a new high for Gap. <laughs> yeah. And we certainly, yeah. we certainly know how to hit the highs. Anyway, oh, listen. <laughs> That was awesome. Or the wall. Um, Jack's got some kind of thing to top this show. Thanks to Richard. <laughs> thanks to Richard Johansson for calling constantly. Uh, thanks also to uh, Jeff Stein. Jeff, sorry that we lost you. You could have come back, you know, but just don't go down to that part of your screen anymore, okay? Um, <laughs> don't touch me there. <laughs> Rob Alfano, thank you, and thanks to uh, Charles Wallace, and uh, thanks to Ray Renati, and thanks to Phil Meyer. 
And also thanks to you, Kevin. Would everybody like to give a big wave goodbye and I'll wave back, okay? There we go. There they go. Okay, now I can hang up on all of them at once. Uh, and uh, that will take care of that. All right. And then I will write Richard Johansson back in just a little bit. In the meantime, that's it for tonight. That's it for the week, actually. We'll be back again uh, next week on, uh, let's see here, on Tuesday. I don't know if there's going to be a uh, show with uh, Damien, but uh, I will be on again at 10 o'clock. Yes, you know what that is. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.